hey, uh, I wrote a function uh, that saves me a few seconds a few times a day, and I'm going to share that with you right now. So let's uh, take a look at this right now. Okay, so I'm in a uh, repo here. Uh, I have a readme. I'm going to add to this readme. I'm going to say, this is so good. Okay, so this is so good. Perfect. Uh, and now I take a look here. Perfect. Okay, now at work, when I want to, uh, you know, push my changes up, first I have to check out a branch. I have to prepend my ticket or my branch name with the ticket name and then the description. Okay, so let, let me let me show you what that looks like. So git checkout uh, dash b, uh, better spell checkout, right? Dash b, and uh, so let's see my, I'm gonna say test one, two, three, and uh, let's give it a name which is going to be, uh, this is so good. Okay, great, now I have to actually add this thing. Now I have to commit it, but when I commit it, I now type this thing out, not kebab case, but I actually have all the spaces in here. So I've typed out this is so good twice. And then I do git push uh, origin test uh, one, two, three, this is so good. And finally, I'm all done. Okay, and and you know, so I, I can look and I've, I've got my commit now. Okay, that's fine, but a little bit slow, right? Uh, a little bit annoying, a lot of rep repetition. So let's do this a better way. So I'm gonna, choose a different thing to say here. So um, you did it, bud. Okay, great, you did a bud. Uh, and now I can do snap test one, two, three. You did it, bud, like that. No exclamation mark and boom. Uh, so now I've got my branch test one, two, three, you did a bud kebab case. If I do my git log test one, two, three, you did a bud, not kebab case and everything is already pushed up. So how does this work? Let's take a look. Obviously this will be on GitHub. Okay, so pipe fail, what we're doing here is we're essentially saying, um, if any part of this errors, don't keep trying to go through the script, right? Because bash automatically will just say, oh, it failed, but I'll keep going. You don't wanna keep going, stop on a failure. Okay, first I get the current branch. If I'm not in a Git repo, this thing's gonna fail, we'll be done. If the current branch is not master or main, then I'm gonna, do a little bit of a warning, right? So you branched off this one, not master or main. Just letting the person know, hey, you didn't branch off master or main. Maybe you're making a mistake, but we're still gonna go through. If they don't have the first argument, the ticket prefix, we exit. If they don't have the second argument, the description, we exit. And then through some bash magic, we uh, set up a kebab name and we set up a commit message and then we just go through the actions uh, that you saw there, right? So uh, let's do this one more time. Okay, so again, I'm going to this time say uh, thanks, uh, thanks, thanks for watching. Man, it is so hard to type when the camera's on. I don't know why. Okay, and then snap uh, test one two three. Uh, we'll do thanks for watching again. This is not kebab case, but my branch is kebab case, and my commit is not kebab case. And there we go. Perfect. Okay, hopefully that was interesting. Was to me.